You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. One year ago today, the lives of so many people changed forever as they lined the streets of Boston to watch the marathon. And today, tributes will mark the anniversary of the bombing that killed three people and injured more than 260 others. And it started with this scene yesterday when 3,000 people showed up for a photo shoot at the finish line to show their support. ABC's Taman Bradley, live in Boston, with more. Good morning, Taman. Good morning from Boston, John and Diana. It was exactly one year ago that terror struck here, but it did not break the city's spirit. The people here united, and they're going to stand united again today. Today, a celebration of Boston's resilience. The city pays tribute to the victims and survivors of the marathon bombings one year ago today. Two explosions at the finish line, a stunning terror attack. Three people were killed, more than 260 injured, including Roseanne Sedoya, who lost a leg and is now learning to use a prosthetic. I don't think anybody knows what they're capable of doing until you're forced to be in it. It's the same story for Heather Abbott, another survivor. I learned that I'm much stronger and more resilient than I ever could have imagined. Under enormous security, survivors, first responders, and dignitaries will walk to the finish line for a moment of silence at 2.49 p.m., the exact time the first bomb went off. It's a very difficult day for families and survivors. Clearly, one year anniversary of loss of a loved one, um, change of a life forever. But it's also, I, I feel, a big step in the healing process. People around the country are also paying tribute. These runners raced in a month-long relay from Los Angeles to Boston to raise money for the wounded. The runners traveled 10 to 20 miles, then passed the baton to runners in another city. It's really cool to actually handle the, you know, the baton that everyone's handled from California to here so far. As for the Boston Marathon, now 118 years old, they'll run it next Monday with a new rally cry, we run together. Last year just can't be the final word. We need to, need to uh, go out and, and really celebrate running as a great lifetime sport. So that's, that's why I'm going back. Back here live on a windy morning in Boston, Vice President Biden will join the governor of Massachusetts and the mayor of Boston for this afternoon's tribute. They're going to raise a flag at the finish line and church bells will ring out across the city. Diana and John. All right, ABC's Tamon Bradley live for us in Boston this morning. Thank you. And tune in to ABC later today for live coverage of the anniversary, including the moment of silence. Our coverage begins on the air and online at 235 Eastern, 1135 Pacific.